Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hola, chicos. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. Good evening, Marlene. I think you're the only one in this class right now. <laughs> the other ones are <laughs> yeah. taking a little break right now. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Leonardo. Hello, Jorge. Leonardo Jorge. Hello, Leonardo. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good, good. Tired. Tired. <laughs> yeah. Why are you tired? Because I wake up uh, early and what else? And sleep in late. <laughs> Mm, I see. And I study in tomorrow. I study in the night. And wow, <laughs> you're, very busy. Busy. Huh? you're very busy. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. Well, I thank you for connecting on time, even though you are very busy and tired. <laughs> But I do thank you for that. That's excellent. Teacher, I like your hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice. <laughs> thank you. It's it's a bit wet still though. <laughs> so it'll dry off a bit during the class. But thank you. <laughs> um okay. Uh, Jorge Olga, are you there? Are you there? Jorge, Olga. Ah, Tatiana is connecting too. Hello, Suleima, also connecting. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, hello, Suleima, how are you? I am fine, teacher. Good, hello, good. teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, Olga. Okay, all right. I'm glad to see many of you, the majority of you. How have you been? Pretty good? Everybody's been pretty good? Not, not too bad? Very good. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so um, we are going to start. Um, just give me a moment. We're going to be taking attendance. Okay, and um, let's start. Just give me a second while we start. Okay. All right, so I have Christina. Is Christina here? No, Christina's not here. No, okay. All right. What about um, Ani? Ay, chicos, me ayudan por favor con sus camaritas, por favor, para que podamos ahí tomar la asistencia sin ningún problema. Okay. Um, solo veo la mitad de sus camaritas, la otra mitad no, no los veo. Okay. Um, Mari. Mari. Eh, Carolina. Carolina. 
Carolina, no. Ok. Eh, Cristi. Cristi. Ok. Jorge. Jorge. No, Jorge. Ok. Karen. Karen. Jorge, are you there? Porque lo veo conectado, pero no contesta. Jorge? No. Karen? Karen? No. Karina? Present. All right, welcome, Karina. Leonardo? Present, teacher. All right, welcome, Leonardo. Linda? Linda? Linda, mommy. No, Linda. Okay. Marlene? Present. All right. Miguel? Miguel? No, Miguel. Nelson G? Nelson G? What about Nelson A? Present, teacher. Welcome, Nelson. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Norma. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Olga. Omar. Omar. No, Omar, okay. Eh, Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Suleima. What about Suleima Melgar? Suleima Melgar? No, Suleima Melgar. And uh, Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Tatiana. Thank you for connecting. Yes, I just going to arrive to at home and I'm going to turn on the cam. Okay, no problem. We will wait for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. Um, bye. I didn't hear many, many, many people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the names again of the people that I didn't hear um, to see if we can uh, if we can get more people. Okay, so Cristina, Cristina. No, Cristina. Ani? Present teacher. Okay, great. Good evening, Good evening Ani. <coughs> Mari? Mari? <laughs> Carolina? Carolina? Cristi? Cristi? Eh, Karen? Karen? Linda, Linda, Miguel, Miguel, Jorge. Present, present. Oh, there is Miguel. Jorge. Present teacher. Okay, there he is. Nelson G. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Eh, Omar. Omar. And Suleima Melgar. Okay, good. So those are the people that I didn't have. So I just wanted to make sure that that you were there, right? Okay. So, all right. Okay, class. Um, so, um, by, eh, les voy a decir esto en español porque no quiero que haya ninguna, eh, digamos, um, eh, preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, solo que, um, bueno, hoy que estuve actualizando la información um, del reporte para Insafor, noté que, uh, bueno, primeramente hay algunos que uh, ya hicieron el midterm, excelente, muy bien hecho, otros que ya me completaron toda la unidad 2, which is excellent. Hay otros que incluso me han hecho la unidad 3, wow, excelente. Pero 
hay algunos que no tienen nada de la unidad 2. Entonces también me preocupa, eso sí me preocupa porque no hemos hecho nada, nada de la unidad 2. Y acuérdense que teníamos que hacer la 2.2 y 2.5. Entonces por lo menos tendríamos que tener como un 40% más o menos, ¿ok? Pero sí tenemos que empezar con la unidad 2 porque acuérdense que la próxima semana ya viene no solamente completar la unidad 2, sino que también el midterm tiene que estar completo. Entonces necesitamos que ustedes hagan eso. Eh, ¿Hay algún problema? ¿Es el momento? ¿Alguien tenga problema con la plataforma? ¿Alguien que quisiera comentar de eso? Yo no tengo problema, teacher, pero... Ahora lo voy a completar todo. No, ayer no pude. Ok. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Entonces vamos a... Esperemos que, que todo salga bien. Ok, muy bien. Um, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Alguna inquietud? Ok, bye. Entonces voy nuevamente voy a revisar el día de mañana para ver, espero que por lo menos tengamos un 40% de la unidad 2 hecha. No tienen que completarlo todo, solo son dos ejercicios y son muy fáciles, o sea, eh, en el sentido de que no les va a tomar mucho tiempo. Yo digo que así como exagerando, quizás les va a tomar como unos 15 minutos para hacer los dos ejercicios. Entonces, yo creo que es algo que podemos lograr, ¿verdad? Pero lo que también, o sea, uno es que estamos mandando el reporte para ISAFOR. Y cuando ven que ustedes no, no están um, completando lo que hay que completar, pues entonces pues está esa duda, ¿verdad? Esa inquietud como realmente el alumno está trabajando, está realmente cumpliendo con lo que es, uh, ha prometido, ¿verdad? Etcétera, etcétera. Y lo otro, por supuesto, es el hecho de que también eh, se van atrasando y pues um, después de, pues dejamos las cosas a última hora y después estamos ahí a la carrera y con el gran estrés y todo. Entonces, no, hagamos tranquilitos, como le digo, no así exagerando, yo digo que les toma como 15 minutos. Si no, así quizás yo diría que lo menos, no sé, como unos 8 minutos tal vez para completar todo. ¿Verdad? Y máximo unos 15. Así que de entre 8 a 15 minutos yo creo que podemos hacer el tiempo, ¿Verdad? En, eh, así que por favor ah, hagamos eso al terminar la clase, ¿Verdad? O para que yo pues pueda revisar tempranito por la mañana, mañana y el todo esté al día. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita que tengamos? ¿Alguna eh, inquietud o algo que quieran comentar? No? Those are clear? Everything's clear? Yes? Okay. All right. Well, in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to start um, with a presentation, with the, sorry, with the PowerPoint presentation. Just give me a moment. Okay. Um, vamos a poner todo esto. Give me a moment. Okay, uh, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. 
Hold on. Just a second. Okay. Um, please tell me if, uh, or better said, when you can see my PowerPoint because that you will see, you will see it, but I just want to make sure when. Okay. Can you see it or no? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. So the it's how to use transitions. Oops. There's one. Hmm. Momento, momento. Ahí está. Okay. Oh, I see. Que no los miraba ustedes. Hoy oh, tampoco los miro ustedes. ¿Qué pasa? Don't worry, teacher. <laughs> yes, I need to see you guys. I don't know where you are. Okay. No, teacher, no importa. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. But oh, I see, oh, I see, I love you. Okay. Okay. So, how to use transitions of addition? Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, same intermediate too. It's class number 11. So let's start here with the practice, the conversation. First, we have these two questions. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the customer? And would you like to be a product tester? Have you ever heard of the term focus group? These are three questions. Do we understand the three questions? Yes, no, maybe. Tell me. Yes, teacher. Yes, you understand it? Yes, uh, maybe the, the term fo the, focus. The term, the term focus. Focus. Focus mm -hmm. is like a, when you are, you have a target. Right there, right, right there. Teacher, the teacher, I think the focus group is maybe term about in Spanish, right? Sorry. In in, in in marketing, use focus group like focus group. Only that with a, with a technique. Uh, no 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 translation to Spanish. The focus group, but a focus group about is a group of person uh, testing a product. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. But 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 we're gonna get into that later. Okay. Uh, we're going. I just want you to discuss with your partner. Have you ever heard of that term before? And if you have, tell your partner what you know about it. And if you haven't, that's okay. We'll talk about that later. Right now, what I'm gonna ask you to do is you're gonna be listen carefully. I don't want I don't want you to be doing this. O sea, okay. Um. Vamos a ver si. Hold on. Okay, bye. Solo para asegurarme que ah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Just give me a moment. Okay, all right. Just so that I I'm, I guarantee that you are not going to do something different i don't i don't want you to pay attention to this i want you to only pay attention to these questions these are the only thing you're going to be discussing the only thing okay those three questions i don't want you practicing the conversation i don't want you to do anything else now if you finish discussing those questions and you have still more time you can go ahead and talk to your partner and um and uh, you know, discuss what you you want to discuss, right? Uh, but of course, in English, try to make sure that you speak 
only in English. That's the idea. We're going to try to practice English only. Okay? Sounds good? Okay, teacher. All right. All right. So I'm going to put you into groups um, and to break our rooms. It's perfect. I have, I'm going to have seven groups and I'm going to give you, I think, um, I would say about five minutes. Five minutes sounds like a good plan. Okay. Five minutes. So, yeah, just discussing the questions, those three questions, okay? Okay. Does that sound okay? Yeah? Or do you yes. think you need more time? It's for okay. Me? It's okay, Peter. Do you need more, more time for those questions? Do you need more time or no? No, teacher, just kidding. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, that's okay. Norma? Norma? And are you having any problems, Norma? Hello, teacher. Hello, Norma. Okay, eh, la voy a mandar al grupo donde estaba originalmente. Okay, thank you. In my case, no. No. <laughs> and I don't know. Yes, I think it is very not difficult, but I don't know. I I I don't prefer <laughs> the the product tester. So in my case, I think we need to talk. Oh, yes. And <laughs> I don't like to talk with people. <laughs> so, no. Oh, the, oh, the, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or is more difficult, the most difficult uh, the, when the product maybe is a uh, food or, or, Algo como así. Yes. Okay. And have you heard about the term focus group? Yes. In my case, mm, no. Maybe. I don't case. remember. Yes. <laughs> because I studied that. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But I don't know if we're going to explain and, that. And what is the, mm -hmm. the term focus group? I think it's a group and 
in the, I don't know, one person going to, going to ask to the other people of a small group mm -hmm. uh, about a product or a service. I think that is- uh, the, the new product or- Uh-huh, yes. Uh, is, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and ah, uh, it's only that. Uh -huh. No, vamos a, a practicar todavía. No. The teacher says no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm in that case. Okay, so I think we finish. Okay. And do you work about uh, with uh, the tight product? Any any product? No. Mm, I don't understand. Where is where is your your job? Ah, I I work in contabilidad, but ah. I studied marketing. Accounting. Uh, accounting. 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 Yes. Ah, do you like the number? No. <laughs> <don't> like <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. Interesante. Yes. But I hate the numbers. I hate <laughs> the contact. I know. Okay, all right, so I, I'm hoping that everybody um, had an opportunity to discuss the questions. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. All right, so let's discuss it amongst us as well. Um, okay, so the first question is, is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the customer? Sorry, from the by the consumer? Do you think there is a way? In my opinion, teacher, I, I think the way to predict to pro predict if your product will be accepted uh, is making a making a test like sign and handling test or the other seven or six test. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Okay, doing the test. Good, what else? Mm -hmm. What else about the, the same question? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I think the consumer can know the characteristic of the of the product and rate it. Okay, know the characteristics of the product and rate it. Sounds yes. good. Okay, what else? Uh, what? No. Okay, all right. Uh, remember, this is for everybody. So I would like to have everybody's opinion. Would you like to be a product tester? Who would like to be a product tester? Nobody? Nobody would like to be a product tester? 
I, I think teacher is product tester is like uh, people who make uh, quality control. No, no. no. Product no. tester okay. is somebody who um, is part of group of a group there to be able to test a product. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. In my case, I think so. The I, uh, I like to be a product tester, but some kind of product on some kind of topic about technology, about the other 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 product don't, don't <laughs> use food or don't use uh, creams or, or, or cha shampoo, right? I think so is... Chemicals. Chemicals, uh, I think is... is um, complicated to to do i think it's that is is maybe uh, make i think is can you have a occasion to test with chemicals and or food or do do eat a, a new food is it's, it's, it's kind difficult to do but it's, this the business or the or, or or the when you try to test a, a new product like food mm -hmm. in some case the the la empresa or como sería la empresa the company the company, the company uh, paid for to do paid to, or, okay yeah exactly most of the time like i mean Sometimes you will have like a, a product tester will be paid, right? To be able to yeah, test those products. Maybe the answer to that question, teacher, is mm -hmm. dep depends on the product. Okay. What kind of product would you like to test then? Maybe I, I would like to, to test to, to make a test to the wine, for example. Okay, testing wine, okay. All right, what else? Anything else? Uh, 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 technology. Technology too would be- Okay, technology, okay. Anything else? No, that's it, teacher. That's it? Okay, all right. Um, okay, sounds good. Now, what about the next question? Have you heard about the term focus group? Have you ever heard of this focus group? No, never heard about focus group? In my case, not to chair. No? Yeah. Okay, never heard of it. What about the others? Have you ever heard of this focus group? I don't hear about the focus group teacher, but I, I imagine is people who are part of a company that make a test of the product. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good, okay. Any other ideas? A teacher is like a meeting for try a new product or talk about any topic mm -hmm. that I think is something like that. Okay, all right, sounds good. Anything else? No? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to read this conversation between two colleagues. They're getting ready to organize and run a focus group study. Now, as we always do, I'm going to ask you to turn off your microphone. Everybody make sure that your microphone is off. And I'm going to be doing the, the reading 
you are going to be practicing the reading. Um, and, uh, after me, make sure that you do it as best as you can um, in terms of the pronunciation. That's the idea here. We're working here. Pronunciation. Okay. So here we go. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants. to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire. to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. I'll meet, sorry, uh, sorry, my mistake. So we work, so we work on it. All right. All right, so that's it. Uh, as usual, I'd like you to write in the chat any words that you don't understand still the pronunciation. So I can help you with.
Anything else? Anything else? No more? Okay. All right, so I'd like you to open up your microphones now and we're gonna be repeating after me. Okay, so I want to hear many, many voices, not just one or two or three. I wanna hear many voices. Ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. First, least. 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 Accurate. 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 Targeted. 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 Monitoring. 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 Furthermore. 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 Further. Furthermore. Furthermore. Repeat, please, teacher. Furthermore. 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 With you, teacher. Huh? Yeah. Fur. Fur. Mm -hmm. Furthermore. Furthermore. Good. Questionnaire. 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 Good. Okay. Excellent. Now, please tell me what words you don't understand. The meaning. You can write it in the chat. Really, you understand all the words? Teacher, what is the meaning of accurate? Yeah, we're going to, you can write, uh, right now um, I'm looking at the words that are in the chat. So I'm going to highlight it and then we'll talk about each one of them. Is that it?
Okay, all right, let's talk about that then. First word, accurate. The word accurate means precise. Okay, so it's another, another, another word for accurate is precise, which is very similar to Spanish, right? Precise. Okay. Okay. All right. Actually, probably not the best color. Try it in a different color. Okay, so precise. Um, random. The word random means in no particular order. Okay, no particular order. Or no, no, no order or no, uh, yeah, like, mm, yeah, it doesn't go in a, in a specific order, okay? In no specific order. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. In Spanish, how do you say random? Aleatorio. Yeah, exactly. So we don't have uh, any, any, um, any preference. It just goes in any, any order. Okay, furthermore, the word furthermore is similar to in addition. You understand the word in addition? Do we understand the word in addition? No? Yes? It's, it's like, uh, um, it's like nevertheless. No, no. Furthermore, in addition, or it's like adding more information. It's it's like saying, I, I'll I'll give you another word. Um, moreover. In, uh, yeah, moreover. But that's probably a little too difficult as well. Um, or like saying also. That's probably easier for you guys to understand. The word also. Okay, so furthermore, furthermore means uh, in addition, moreover, also. So you're just adding information. Okay. Yeah. Please, please, please. Okay. Um, that furthermore, it means in addition, moreover, or also. It means adding to add more information. It's like saying plus. Okay. Yeah, we understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, next. Well-designed, the word well-designed, well, you understand the word design, right? So design means that you make a, a, a design, right? So well-designed means that you design something good. Okay. Absolutely. What about what about the small line between between the the two words? Um. 
That is what we call a, com uh, a, um, a complex um, noun. Sorry, no, sorry, not noun. Uh, adjective, a complex adjective, which means basically that we are combining two words to create an adjective. Okay, so instead of saying you design something good or you design something well, we say well designed. It's just like good looking. Good looking means somebody that looks good. Somebody that looks good. But to make it an adjective, we put the word look, looks and good, put them together, and we make it into an adjective. So it becomes good looking. But uh, the small line uh, that, that is a hyphen is used to connect to, to connect yes to connect two words to make it into one word okay 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 yeah it's called a hyphen so hyphens are used to connect two words together it's the same idea with when you say for example 21 21, the correct way of spelling 21 is 20 hyphen one, because you're creating it into one word, but make, or better say you are, you're taking two separate words, putting them together to make one word. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher, sounds good. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to stop there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put you again with your partner. You're going to practice the conversation, okay? Practice this conversation between Mo Moises and Fernanda. If uh, the first time you are Moises, the second time we'll, you'll be Fernanda. Then after practicing, you are going to be answering. After practicing the conversation, you're gonna be answering these three questions. How many focus groups will participate in the test? What type of sample has Fernanda selected for the test, pro, uh, the test process? And who will design the questionnaire? Okay? Okay. Sounds good? Okay. 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 All right. Let's, uh, I'm gonna stop sharing and we're gonna go back into your groups and I'm gonna give you about seven um, minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes to practice the conversation and discuss the three questions, okay? Okay. All okay. right. Um, Okay, let's open the groups. Sorry, teacher. For around. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well designed questionnaire, questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I will meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. So we work, work uh, 
<laughs> we work on it. Okay. We change. Okay. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at the least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, uh, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. For, furthermore, it's necessary to create a well design questionnaire to get the specific information we require. You'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we were on it. Okie dokie. Uh, How many focus group will participate in this? Three. I Three guess. groups. Mm -hmm. And what type, what type of samples has Fernando selected for the tasting progress? Mm. It's a mm. monitoring. No, I'm not sure. No, no, no. What type of sample? Target or random could be. Because my set say we work with target or random samples, and Fernanda said you're right. Explain why. Mm -hmm. For a random, uh huh. Yes, I think. Target for Randall sample. But I'm not sure. What do you think? Um, okay, so. For random. Yes. We will go for a random sample. Okay. testing process. Um, I think is. I think is. Uh, Moises said this. We uh, we work with target. Targeted, targeted, or random samples. Mm -hmm. Um. On, uh, but you. Yes. Oh, this. Oh, Fernanda said that we will for a random sample. Uh huh. Um, random so sample. <laughs> Yes, a uh, random sample. Yes. Random sample. Who will be saying the questionnaire? Ah, uh, who will sign uh, the questionnaire? Lucas. Lucas and Moises. Why Moises? Moises we, we, Moises said that I'll meet I'll, I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Ah yes yes, so we work. Sure. See, we work on it. Mm -hmm. 
Lucas and Moses. And then finish, right? Yes. Um, practice all new. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, uh, Nelson. No. Okay. Have you made any progress with the sample selection of the focus group? Sure, Moises. Hello? Hello, teacher. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. All right, I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. Okay, any questions at this point about um, the conversation? No questions? I think the question is, are clear, teacher. The questions are clear. Everything is okay for me, teacher. Wonderful, all right, so let's check the answers quickly. How many focus groups will participate in the test? Three teacher. Three. Three teacher. Three, very good. The answer, um, we can see the answer right here, right? So three groups. Focus groups. Yeah, okay. What type of sample has Fernanda selected for, her, for their testing process? Random samples. Uh, yeah, random samples, right? Mm -hmm. Good. And who will design the questionnaire? Moises and Lucas. Lucas and Moises. I agree. Lucas and Moses, because, sorry, Moises, because he says, we will work on it. So both of them. All right, very good. Okay, now that we've done that, let's um, let's check attendance because it's that time already. Um, Give me a moment while we wait for my for the for the page to open up. Okay. All right. Um, so we'll start with Christina. Cristina? No, no Cristina. Annie? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Mari? Present. All right, welcome, Mari. Uh, Carolina? All right. Christy? Christy? Christy, no, no Christy. Uh, Jorge? 
Present teacher. Okay, very good. Karen? Present teacher. Good. Karina? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Leo, Leonardo? Present teacher. Very good. Linda? Present teacher. Very good, welcome. Uh, Marlene? Present. Very good. Well, uh, Miguel? Present. Okay, very good, Miguel. Nelson G? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Nelson A? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Norma? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Olga? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. And Omar? All right. Sylvia, sorry, Suleyma Rodriguez? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Suleyma Melgar? Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. And Tatiana? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay, good. Uh, any questions so far? Do we understand? So we're understanding what is the focus group? What do you understand? By Sorry, could you repeat the, the answer, teacher? Sure, I'll repeat the question. What do you understand by focus group? What do you understand by that focus group? Mm -hmm. Do you understand by focus group? So according to the conversation, what do you understand by focus group? Teacher, uh, in conversation, I think so is, uh, is a group of person or group of people with, with test a product or service or, or wherever. <laughs> Whatever about the, the company try to launch the new product or, or certain like that. But, uh, but the, the focus group uh, is a, a concept is about the group choose group that choose a random or target. Or, Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, very good, exactly. So remember, we've been talking about testing, right? Testing products, right? Uh, we have different, we talked about seven, seven different types of um, tests, right? Um, and the thing about it is that with this type of test, um, you can find out what people think about the product, right? Now, sometimes it's good to just get um, general ideas of what people think. And sometimes it's better to get uh, the, the idea of a specific group of people. Let's say maybe we, are, we want the product is going to be for, um, you know, it could be like, maybe let's say uh, the latest iPhone to give you an example. Well, if it's gonna be the latest iPhone, you're probably not going to want people that are, um, you know, like an, of an older generation, unless you want to check if it's user friendly, if it, people are able to use it without any problem. But most of the people that you want to test are people that are going to be interested in buying an iPhone, which are going to be like a younger generation, right? So a focus group can either be as the as the conversation mentions, it can either be um, a hold on. It can either be um, a targeted, right? A targeted uh, focus group, which is the one I told you about, like thinking about a specific group of people that you want to make the test to, or it can be random, right? So basically, you just choose people. Uh, 
like whoever in no specific order, no specific, it could be, it could be women, men, it could be young, old, it can be from different uh, backgrounds, it can be different professions, et cetera, et cetera. That would be random. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher, but this kind, this kind of people mm -hmm. is, is new people in the company. No, 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 no. These are potential customers. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, like participants. Yes. Uh, yes, exactly. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to find out what do people in the market think about the product or the service? They, so, they, want, to, they want to find the perception of the product. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So they choose a group of people and they say, okay, um, you know, I, we're going to, we're going to do the, the, the target group, sorry, the, the focus group with these type of people or with that type of people. And it, like I said, it could be a specific group of people, like um, maybe it could be like adolescents or it could be maybe moms, only mothers. Right, but, or it can be but, may, maybe it could be only babies, right? But, uh, mm -hmm. but the, the the main the main uh, activity or or the the main idea of these groups is to collect to collect accurate results about right. the product. Exactly of the product right, um, of what people think about the product so that you have an idea of if the product is gonna be a success or not. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, please tell me if, if, I'm, if I'm making no sense to you, if you're, you're still like, what, what is she talking about? It's okay, you can tell me. So I'm guessing everybody understands that. Okay, great. All right, so now what we're gonna do, uh, please tell me if you can see my, hold on, just give me one second. Give me one, one, one second. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do in this moment right now, I'm going to ask if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? Oh, yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right, so we have here says product development and testing. Now, this is an information that comes from a, a, a real company. What I'm gonna get you guys to do is the following. You're gonna be working with a partner, but I'm gonna switch partners, so you're not going to be working with the same partner. And you're gonna read the, 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 the short article. Okay, this is about the product development and testing. Okay, how they develop the product, how they test the product. Read the information and try to identify, or try to see if you can identify what is the name of the company. Or yeah, what is the name of the company of the product that we are describing here? Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna read, uh, since there's going to be two of you, I would suggest maybe take turns. One person reads the first paragraph, the second person reads the second paragraph. Okay, so because here's one paragraph up to here, and here's another paragraph. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to... 
make new breakout rooms. And I'll give you, yeah, about, yeah, about, I think about seven minutes should be enough to read it and discuss what company you think it is. Okay, so let's open the rooms. Linda? Linda, can you hear me? Hello, okay, I'm going to send you. Hi, teacher. No, what happened? Could you please share the picture that my, my screen do doesn't function? And okay. I want to, to sure. take out. Just give me one moment. Okay. I'll, I'm going to have to leave the room and come back, okay? Okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll never launch. Hello. Hello. Para, para que le tome fotito. Ya, yeah, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Cristina, if you want, I can start. Hello. ¿Me escucha? Sí, ahorita sí. Ok. Comienza a leer. Sí, está bien. We'll never launch a product homeless shirt. Every shirt. Every piece of equipment for those of athletes. Athletes, no se conoce. Athletes and fashion lovers. As if it was one of a kind, and as truly is as they will, they passion in every single product, but lighting designs, drawings, and renderings into real. Products occurs a lot of decision making. Therefore, we all share an infinite imagination and a critical lay for the tales and costs. If you are if you are false 
a developer who already has the final product in me when you see the first ideas. You should join, use and put these ideas into precious shape. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, a story of um, uh, clothing, sport, sport clothing. Sport clothing. Yeah, but um, says I create every shirt, every shoes, and every piece of equipment of athlete, athlete, athletes detail. I think is a, uh, for example. A uh, brand of Nike or Adidas, for example. Yes. Mm. Yo no entiendo muy bien esta conversación. Es que como que está explicando de, de una empresa se está dando a conocer qué es lo que hace. Si quiero lo podemos volver a leer para tratar de entenderlo. Okay. Porque sé que dice development, los productos desarrollan para equipos, como pues, así. Camisetas, zapatos, en every piece, cada pieza. Para siempre de aquí. Ajá, equipos para los de atletas en Fashion Nova, los amantes. ¿Qué preguntas? I think it's a, a sport we are a store teacher. Okay, so you're going to have to decide which sports store. Ah, for example, or, um, Nike, Adidas. Okay. For example. Could be, all right. All right. Do you agree, Miguel? Uh, in fact, the conversation teach. Uh, uh, in parts, uh, not on the stereo. Uh, Sorry, Miguel, I don't understand. What, what is, I don't understand what, what are you asking? Hay partes todavía de la conversación que no las entiendo, entonces. No es una conversación. It's not a conversation. It's an information about the uh, product testing. Okay. What, what part do you not understand? Eh, no, eh, realmente necesito leerla bien. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. If you, there's something that you don't understand, you can let me know. Okay. Okay, Norma. Eh, si gusta, la, la leo y la vamos interpretando para que no. Hello, teacher. Hello. Are we finished? Yes. 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 Did you find, did you try to figure out which is the, 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 um, the company? Uh, I think so. The, we are on, we, which we try to find the company about, about what or, or the name of company? Yeah, what it's about and what you think, which company do you think it is? 
Okay. Okay. I think so. It's complicated, but a lot of company to do like like the sells a product of fashion and product a uh, about equipment athlete uh, equipment of athletics a teacher for that and shoes but in 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 this country right or or wherever and in, in yeah. it could be in this country or whatever you think <laughs> but in, in the company Okay, let me check. Just make a guess. That's the idea to guess. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, all right. So um, let's read the, the paragraphs together. I need two volunteers who can help me. Who can help me? Hey, teacher. Okay, great, okay, Marlene, thank you. you. Can read the first paragraph and the second paragraph? Uh, the bow. Oh, you want to read both? Or oh, one. Um, let's yeah, the first. Let's give a chance to the uh, another person. If anybody want to read the second paragraph, who wants to read the second paragraph? I, I can, teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Jorge. Okay, so you can read the second paragraph. Okay, so Marlene, you can start. Okay. Um, we never launch a product unless we consider it perfect. Our product development teams create every shirt, every shoe, and every piece of equipment for thousands of athletes. And fashion lovers ask if it was one of a kind. And it truly is as they wave their passion into every single product that translating designs, drawings, and renderings into real products requires a lot of decision making. Okay. Therefore, we all share an infinite imagination and a critical eye for details and cost. If you are also a developer who already has the final product in mind, when you see the first ideas, you should join us and put these ideas into precise shape. All right, thank you, Marlene and Jorge. Bravo, excellent. Okay, all right, so let's talk about, first of all, uh, the meaning of it, words that you, from here, that something that you may not understand, you can write it in the chat. What words do you not understand? The meaning, teacher. Mm -hmm. The the meaning, yes. Not pronunciation. We know we're not we're not working on pronunciation, but the meaning of words. Okay.
I can't find unless. Can you guys help me with the word unless? Unless in the in the first line, teacher. Oh, thank you. Anything else? No, no more? Okay, all right. So let's start with the word unless. Unless means if not, if not. So we'll never launch a product if we don't consider it perfect, that's what it means. If we don't consider it not, okay, unless, if not. How do you say unless in Spanish? A menos. A menos. A menos que, mm -hmm. exactly, a menos que, okay? Fashion lovers. In English, we use this word a lot, lovers. Lovers means anybody that loves something. So we say fashion lover means somebody that loves fashion. Okay, so um, for example, it can be, we can also have um, words like, um, oh, I don't know, music lover. A music lover would be somebody who loves music. Right? Okay. So this word is very, very common in, in, in English. Just lovers to 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 what? To to emphasize something. Yes, it means okay, it's so we're talking about somebody that loves something. So you can be a lover of anything, like music lover, fashion lover. Um, it could sport be lover. sorry, sport lover, yeah, of course, yeah, you can have, yeah, every, sports every, lover. almost Pet everything lovers. Lover. who almost everything lower, yeah, of course. Any any noun, you you it has to be a noun, okay? It could be pet lover, right? Pet lover means that you love pets, okay. Or, for example, um, I don't know, what else could it be? Um, uh, video games lovers? Yeah, okay, video game lovers. Okay, it's so it that you love. Okay, so that, that idea, that lovers thing, it's very, very common when you have put it together with a noun. Okay. Okay, sounds good? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. All right, next we have truly. The word truly means um, for real, okay, or really. So when it says, and it truly is, it means, and it really is, okay? Sounds good? Yeah? Okay. Yes. And then we have translating. Translating uh, means to like uh, to change something, okay? For example, if you translate, 
you can translate a text from English to Spanish or from Spanish to English. So it means to put the same ideas and change them to another idea, sorry, to another language, right? So for example, you take the ideas in English and you change it to Spanish, for example. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yeah, okay. And then we have renderings. Rendering, the word rendering uh, means a, the way that something is done, okay? The way that something is done or performed, the way something is made, okay? So the drawings and renderings, so the way that you make these designs, these drawings into real products. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, have, thank you. You're welcome. Then we have developer. Developer. Developer is somebody who develops something. Um, so, in, or in other words, somebody that creates and makes something grow. Okay, that's a developer, somebody that creates and makes something grow. Okay, how do you say developer in Spanish? Desarrollador. Desarrollador. Desarrollador, exactly. So you create something and you make it grow, you make it happen. Okay. And join means that you become part of something else. For example, join our class. Join our class means that you are part of our class. Okay, so join our class. Yeah. How do you say join in Spanish? Unirse. Unirse. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. All right. So after having read the this information about the product development and testing of a, of a company. What company do you think it is? This is because this is a real information. I took it from the internet. So this is real. What company in, do you think it is? In, in my opinion, teacher, the company is, in, it's, it's a company that create, uh, uh, sport articles. Yes, you're right about that. Teacher, I think is Nike or or some brand like that. Okay, so it's Adidas. It is Adidas. Yay! Very good. Excellent. Yes, it's we're talking about Adidas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is actually something I took directly from, from the, from Adidas information. Okay, so yeah, so this is real. This is how uh, Adidas develops their products and they do the testing. I, I don't understand it, sir. Why, why is Adidas? Well, um, if you notice, they talk about, um, they talked about athletes, right? Okay. So it has to be something to do with sports, but yeah. it's not just um, a, it's not just about sports. It's also has to do with fashion, fashion. Yeah. Okay. So yes, it it, it um, so it had to be a company that was for sports but also involved fashion, right? So if you notice, yes, um, Adidas is not only interested in making something useful for, um, for the use in sports, but also to make it look fashionable, to make it look good, you know, so that uh, people want to wear um, the sports clothes and the sports wear and the sports accessories outside of doing sports. Right? That's kind of the idea. 
They don't just want you to wear it when you go to the gym or when you're practicing a sport. They want you to wear it all the time. So that's why they make it with fashion. Okay, okay. I, I, can, I, I can recognize the, the brand of the, the article. No, it was just, a, it was a matter of guessing. It was guessing. It was not that you, the information, they didn't, in nowhere in the article did it say it was Adidas. It was just, you had to guess, or like they say, read between the lines. Okay. Leer entre líneas, right? Okay. Okay. All right, good. Okay, guys, so we've got that finished. So now let's talk about transitions. So this is very important, transition. Um, transitions are uh, those words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, that add information, reinforce ideas, and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously. So remember, we talked a little bit about this in, in the conversation, when we were looking at the conversation. So we have, in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides. Okay, now, why do we use these words? We use them because we want to add information. We want to reinforce ideas. What's reinforce? How do you say reinforce in Spanish? Reforzar. Reforzar, exactly. Okay. Expre we express agreement, right? So you say, you yes, I agree with that. Okay. Um, and these are ideas with things, ideas that have been presented previously. So we've, we've talked about this before. Okay. Now, in addition, furthermore, so hold on. So in addition, furthermore, moreover, Those are all words that express adding information, okay? So I already mentioned some information and now I'm going to add it, okay? All right, does that make sense? Yeah? Okay, now I want you to notice something. I want you to notice that after the, after using the transition, okay. The period. Mm, there's not a period, but there's a. I forget the name of the, the. What do you call that? Comma. Right. You will notice in addition, comma. Moreover, comma. Sorry, furthermore, comma, and moreover, comma, okay? So if you say, notice it says in the sentence we have, will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, comma, we need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location of each. Or furthermore, comma, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information required. We also, we also can put it here. In order to select the focus group to the test um, to test the product, it's important to gather a group of participants who will who make direct use of the final product or service. Moreover, comma, it is necessary to choose a moderator for each group. Now, I want you to notice that here we are connecting an idea with something that we mentioned before. Now, you can either start the transition with a capital letter, okay? So if you notice here, there's a capital letter in addition, furthermore, but here there's no capital letter. Why there's no capital letter? Because before that there is a semicolon. 
So when we have a semicolon, we don't put a capital letter, but it's still a separate idea that connects with the one before. Does that make sense? Does that make sense or no? No, teach. Okay. Teacher, it's like, uh, I'm so tired. Furthermore, I have to take a rest. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. Do you notice here we have a semicolon? Yes. You can see that, right? There's a semicolon. It's not a period. It's a semicolon. We use semicolons when the other information, um, the, when the other information, the second idea is very connected to the first. So it's a separate idea, but it's connected. It's, it's, it's has very close relationship. So it can almost be like one, one complete sentence, but it's too long to be a complete sentence. Think about we think about this this right here. Um, this could not be a one one sentence. It's too long, so we have to stop it at some point. But the second idea is so closely related that it's almost as if we can put them together. So el el punto el el punto y coma se utiliza como para decir sí. La oración termina acá, pero la próxima oración está muy ligada. Okay? okay. So because it's not exactly a separate sentence, it's like a continuation of the first one, then there is no capital letter. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, all right. Now, something else I want you to understand is the punctuation. This part is very important. Um, the punctuation of the transition words. So transition words, they what they do is they connect ideas together. So there are three positions where you can put the punctuation. Um, most of the time we put, um, we are, sorry, in, so first, most of the time we, uh, we proceed the, preceded the transition word, we have a question mark or a period. And after that, we have comma, right? Notice? So here in this one, we have a question mark, and then we have the capital letter and the comma. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so here we have the question mark, then it starts with a capital letter, and then after the transition, we put a uh, comma. Or, in, for example, well, in this one, we can have the period before it, then there we have a capital letter, and then the comma. Okay? And in this case, uh, the, the, the transition in, the, in this one for moreover is preceded by a semicolon, what I talked to you about, and then it's followed by a comma. In this case, uh, we don't have a capital letter. It's, it's a lowercase letter. Now, look at this. this. This information is very interesting. It says, the decision to separate two ideas with a period, question mark, plus the transition, or, mm, let me, let me change that. Uh, with a period uh, question mark plus the transition or with a semicolon, 
in a transition is a matter of personal style. So in other words, the two forms are possible. So you can either put a period, right? Like this one, or you can put a semicolon. You decide, whatever you prefer. Okay, so both of them are okay. There's nothing wrong in using each one of them. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions? Any questions? No? Uh, one question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Just that uh, four words uh, used to add information. No. There are more. Oh, yes. Or a long oh, yes. There is a long list. Uh, but I would not go and start looking at all the list if I were you. I would stick first to mastering these four, and then I can go on and do others. But let's work on these ones first. De nada le sirve tener una gran lista si no entendemos las que son como más básicas. Eh? Okay, so let's, let's first work with these ones. But yes, if, there, if there's more, there are more. Okay? okay. Any questions? No? No. Okay. All right. Um, let me stop sharing. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do, um, hold on, okay. Um, so it's a, basically time now to finish up. So I'm going to show you what your homework is going to be. Okay, I want you to practice this. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yeah? Okay. So we're going to write a 10 line paragraph. It's the homework. Write a 10 line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group test, sorry, of implementing a focus group test, testing a product, should I think you should say. Okay, so you're going to decide what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages. Use the transitions of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages below. So disadvantages, you can think about not enough stereotypes in the selected audience, for example, not considering that the participants participants are part of the targeted language, dominant personality within group, and advantages relatively inexpensive, and a variety of opinions, and accurate and unbiased opinions. So basically, everybody has these disadvantages and these advantages. You are going to, what you'd have to do is create the paragraph with 10 lines using all of this information and using transitions. The most important part here 
is use the use of the transitions. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to do. Try using transitions of addition. Okay, and talking about advantages and disadvantages. How's that? Do we understand what we have to do? Yes? Yeah, it's all clear? Any questions? Um, yes, Jorge? Uh, this paragraph is uh, uh, What kind to the product or is about the yesterday? This is about this. This information is about um, about um, a, focus a focus group, group test a group a implementing product. a focus group test testing a product. Yeah, that's what it's about. So you're talking about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group test. Okay. Okay. Sounds good? Okay. 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 All right. So now we're going to do our attendance. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, so I'm uh, sorry, Christina. Present teacher. Okay, good. Annie? Present teacher. Mari? Present. Carolina? Christy? Christy? Jorge? Present teacher. Karen? Present teacher. Um, good. Um, sorry, did I hear Karen? Ah, okay. Pero, oh, hold on, pero un momentito. Cristina? Cristina? Acaba de decir presente, chao. All right, good. Eh, Carolina and Christy, si no, verdad? Okay, va. Um, Karina? Present. Leonardo? Present, teacher. Linda? Present, teacher. Marlene? Present. Good. Uh, Miguel? Present. Okay, very good. Por cierto, hoy le Marlene para quedarse. Eh, Nelson okay. G. Present. Good. Nelson A. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Olga. Eh, Omar. Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. And Tatiana. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, well guys, that will be all. Acuérdense, los que no me han terminado todavía la unidad 2 hasta la 2.5, por favor, terminen eso. Voy a estar revisando mañana por la mañana. Okay. So that's it, guys. Take care. Yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Right. Thank Don't, you. Forget. Don't forget the homework. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Okay. Hello, Marlene. ¿Qué tal?
Bien. Qué bueno. Ah, sí, yo sé. Yo ¿Y sé. usted qué tal? También cansadita. No me imagino. A esta hora de la noche, como ay. Cabal, pero bueno, seguimos, seguimos. Sí. Lo vamos a lograr. Sí. Eh, Marlene, cuéntame, ¿qué le puedo ayudar? Mm. Pues está bien, teacher. Solo que uh, estos días he estado un poco ausente. No he podido conectarme, entonces a veces como me cuesta um, como seguir el hilo. Uh -huh. Porque sí, muchos días que no he estado conectando y que no he podido. Okay. Pero por eso también me he atrasado en, la, en las tareas, pero ya ahora me pongo al día. Sí, de hecho eso le iba a mencionar, de que si no me equivoco, eh, me falta el hecho la de la primera unidad. Ajá, Ajá. Me falta la plataforma. Eh, vaya. Y cuando usted no se puede conectar, usted mira eh, la... ¿Ve usted la, la... ¿Cómo se llama? Los videos. Los videos. Las ajá. grabaciones. Ajá. Uh, usualmente sí. Lo que pasa es que, <ríe> siendo sincera, estaba en mis vacaciones de eh, 15 días y no estuve en casa. Entonces, por eso se me dificultaba mucho conectarme y también ver los videos. Pero ahora empecé a trabajar y como mi trabajo es bien tranquilo, entonces sí, ahora eh, empecé a ver las clases Ajá, desde el principio okay. para poder entender todo que, okay, okay. que estaba faltando. Vale, no, no es necesario que vea, digamos, todas las dos horas de clase. Eh, no. Pero por uh, la parte así de las explicaciones y todo... Puede usted adelantarlo y todo, ¿verdad? Para poder ver, uh -huh. ver y entenderlo mejor. ¿verdad? Ajá, siempre veo como el, cuando se trata como de alguna, de nueva gramática o cosas así. Ya si los ponen a practicar cosas así, ya lo voy a adelantar. Uh -huh. Exacto. Solo sí. más que todo para entender la, ajá, entender la clase. Ajá, cabal, cabal. Eh, sí, así que le, le, le sugiero que siempre haga eso, ¿verdad? De la, el video ya sea hasta en, lo puede hacer en YouTube, ¿verdad? O también en la plataforma, ahí mismo está, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, es mejor en YouTube porque en la plataforma puede ser que cargue. Ah, ok, bueno. Así que, okay. ajá, así que, ajá, de un solo lo veo en YouTube. Okay. Y sí, por eso me había atrasado, pero ahora ya empecé a olvidar. Normal, otra vez. Okay. Sí, porque también siento que la unidad 1 tampoco está completa. Me falta la de 1.5, creo. Que eso sí estuve en la clase, pero estaban diciendo los compañeros que, que les había, eh, no entendían cómo hacerlo. Pero esa clase sí estuve. Entonces, la... pero ahora me voy a poner al día, ahorita que termine. Sí, quiero ver. Porque sí me falta la tercera y ahorita de la unidad 2. Vamos a ver qué es lo que le hace falta. Si no, no. Va, la la 1.5 es la que dice usted que está uh -huh. con problemas. Vaya, uh -huh. ¿pero entendió esa clase o no? Es la de como... El reduce adverb clauses. Ajá. Sí, que son cuatro pasos. Uh -huh. ah, exacto. Sí. Y que no siempre tienen que ir los cuatro pasos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, uh -huh. si lleg llegamos al uno, ¿verdad? El, el primero, que identificar los pronombres y los dos pronombres no están, no son lo mismo, entonces ahí queda, ahí queda. la verdad ya no, ya no tenemos que seguir al próximo. Eh, uh -huh. Ahora, también lo mismo sucede es de que, por ejemplo, um, si el, hacemos el paso dos, que, que es um, de, ah no, perdón, el paso tres, que es eliminar el verbo to be, uh -huh. entonces ya no continuamos con el, con el paso cuatro. Porque, el, porque o, o bien tenemos el verbo to be o tenemos otro verbo, pero no podemos tener los dos verbos juntos del verbo. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí. o, entonces es, la, la, el paso número cuatro solo aplica si el, 
paso número tres no existe, digamos. Uh -huh. no, o sea, si no hay el verbo to be, entonces sí tenemos que buscar el otro verbo y ponerlo en el ing. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí, eso sí me recuerdo, sí. Ok. Entonces, entonces eso sí, sí, se... sí, de ahí con, la, con las... Eh... Hola. Hola. Ah, sí. De ahí con la, con la de... La de esa unidad número dos y voy a ver primero la clase porque hasta ahora, me, ayer me conecté. Creo. Ok. Ajá, okay. Para, para poder hacerlo. Ajá, ok. ¿Cuántos días sí. de ausencia llevamos, Marín? Una semana, creo. Tipo. Porque la semana pasada sí me conecté, pero el martes, el miércoles y el jueves, creo. Ok, ya voy a revisar ahorita. Ahorita le digo. Que tenemos que, eso es, ojo con eso, porque no podemos. Uh -huh. Sí, yo sé. Por eso ahora me... ya, no, ya no voy a cortar. Vale. Creo que pasa que como habían venido familiares. Tenemos el primer día de clase que no estuvo. Y de allí. No estuve el viernes pasado. Pero estuve ayer. Pues solamente son dos clases las que he perdido. La primera semana sí estuve faltando. Creo que solo me conecté, no me acuerdo. Porque tengo, tengo acá que el, el lunes. Sí, el viernes, el viernes que no, no, no me pude conectar porque no me daba internet. Uh -huh. De ahí el, el ayer, sí, y ahora. Sí, el martes, lo que sus, el martes de la primera semana sí se conectó, pero uh -huh. se conectó como por una hora más o menos. Sí, porque había salido y se me descargó el celular. Uh -huh. Ajá, y uh -huh. el miércoles también solamente fue como una hora. Entonces ahí ya tenemos como dos horas prácticamente. Uh -huh. Entonces son, vamos a suponer que digamos un día completo, ¿verdad? Entonces digamos ahí son dos días hasta el momento. El jueves no hubo clase. El viernes faltó, Esto ya son tres uh -huh. días. El lunes de esa semana, de la semana pasada, sí estuvo. Uh -huh. Martes también. El martes también. Miércoles, miércoles también. también. Jueves parece ser que también. Sí, estuvo o sea, el viernes, ¿no? El viernes serían cuatro, ¿verdad? El viernes. Con el viernes serían cuatro. Vienes uh -huh. cuatro. Y ya el lunes. Ayer estuve. El lunes sí estuvo casi toda la clase. Y ahora. Y ahora Aquí, digamos, son, son cuatro días prácticamente. Vale. Uh -huh. eh, tenemos que tener mucho cuidado porque todavía tenemos bastante clase. O sea, aquí uh -huh. vamos apenas. O sea, todavía nos faltan uh -huh. tres semanas. Y usted solo uh -huh. tiene permiso para un día más. Sí, no, pero ya no, ya no voy a faltar. Uh -huh. Sí, yo sé. Uh -huh. Sí, porque si no, nos, nos metemos ahí en problemas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, tiene que tener... Sí, pero ya ahora ya, ya volví a mi vida normal. Okay, y ahora completo las tareas y, y ya estoy siempre. Pero asegúrese también de, de conectarse eh, desde el principio de la clase hasta el final, porque ¿Sí? uh, acuérdese que también, imagínese, usted dice, no, pues mi, ya voy a regresar mi vida normal. Y eso puede ser cierto, pero imagínese que un día no tenga internet. Uh -huh. ¿verdad? Y entonces sí, okay. tiene que faltar ese día. Entonces, yo lo que le sugiero es también tener un plan B. Si usted no tiene internet, podría ir tal vez a la casa de un vecino o amigo o familiar. 
pero cerca para poder recibir la clase o si no puede utilizar datos, ¿verdad? Si sí. tiene datos en su teléfono, uh -huh. se conecte con asegurarse de siempre tener datos, ¿verdad? Para que no nos suceda una, un percance tan grande, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, eso sí dice. Ok, muy bien. Yo voy a tener cuidado con eso. Oh, okay. Perfecto. Pero gracias. Ya sabe, Marlene. Entonces, en ese caso, si no hay nada más, pues um, sería todo. Y si acuérdese que el, el último, la última semana de clase, um, si usted quiere tener una sesión extra y para porque um, ya quisiera preguntar algo, pues también me puede, ah, puede okay. programarlo porque ese, esa semana está libre, digamos, ah, okay. programado. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Bueno, está bien, Ticha. Ok, Marlene, entonces cuídese, pase buenas noches. Gracias, okay. buenas noches. Nos sí. vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.